It is one of the most watched and most controversial cases the U.S. Supreme Court has taken up, talking about the challenge to Texas's abortion law, which is one of the toughest in the country. A decision is expected as early as two hours from now. But how we got here, that started three years ago right here in Austin. Yes, Mr. President, I intend to speak for an extended period of time on the bill. With tennis shoes on, a microphone, and no breaks. Then State Senator Wendy Davis gained national attention for her 11 hour, hour filibuster. It was a temporary victory because House Bill 2 eventually passed. Then in October of 2014, the Supreme Court weighed in and blocked several parts of that law. When it weighed in again last year, putting an appeals court decision on hold, refusing the state to enforce restrictions that would have forced clinics to close. But since this law has enacted, uh, it has had an impact on abortion clinics. And we wanted to know what could happen next with the ruling from the Supreme Court. So Kate White, I was live at the state capitol this morning with the details on that. Good morning, Kate. Good morning. Well, you know, this law has had a major impact on the number of places women can go to get an abortion. Prior to House Bill 2, 41 clinics were open for an abortion here in Texas. Now that number is just down to 19. Now half had to close because the bill required abortion centers to meet the same standards as ambulatory surgical centers, like having large operating rooms, wide corridors, and doctors who have admitting privileges at a hospital within 30 miles of the clinic. Now it's predicted that if the Supreme Court upholds the law, others will have to close with about a fewer than 10 clinics remaining. Those who are for the bill say it provides women a safer place to get an abortion. While critics argue it simply makes it harder for a woman to access a clinic for an abortion and could push more women into the second trimester. If they uphold the law, then the long-term impact will that abortions will continue happening at the rate of tens of thousands every year in Texas. That's just the reality. But a small number of facilities that are operating at a very low standard of care will either upgrade or they're going to go out of business. If the Supreme Court shuts down this dangerous law, there will be a pathway for abortion clinics to reopen in communities that have been without an abortion provider. And there will be a strong message sent to anti-abortion politicians that they cannot attack access to health care in this way that they've done recently. So basically what the Supreme Court justices have to decide is if this law imposes restrictions that unconstitutionally limit a woman's right to terminate a pregnancy. Some worry that if the justices uphold this, that it's going to be a stepping, store, stepping stone toward reversing Roe versus Wade. Of course, we'll keep you posted. We're live from the state capitol, Kate Wydaw, KXAN News. And this case has a direct impact on women here in Texas, but it could also play a really big role across the country with 12 other states with similar laws that have put their court battles on hold just to wait and see what the Supreme Court decides. The court's decisions usually come out after 9 o'clock in the morning, and when it does, we're going to bring it to you live here, also at KXAN.com.